Hey there, Tyler. Well, at the Port of LA and Long Beach, there are more than 100 ships waiting to unload or intentionally slowing their transocean trip just to avoid that entire log jam. It is a major factor pushing shipping rates 33% higher year over year in December. Cass Freight and ACT Research saying rates will stay near this level throughout Q1 and Omicron. It just continues to be a challenge. According to City, productivity at the ports is down as much as 20% because hundreds of longshoremen at LA and Long Beach are out with COVID. The variant also pushing trucking, trucking rates to record levels. General trucking rates 53% higher than 2019 levels. Food trucking rates also 50% higher, really hitting margins on grocery and consumer goods businesses. Two of the biggest names in supply chain signaling over the last few weeks, they see elevated demand continuing. Maersk, that's the largest container shipper. That made, they made a $3.6 billion warehouse acquisition in Asia. CBRE acquiring $4.9 billion in warehouses in Asia and in the U.S. And a key leading indicator, also signaling no sign of relief in trucking, which is about 75% of supply chain cost. Orders of tractor trailers in December, they were 55% lower year over year, meaning the trend of trucking companies and truckers themselves getting into business to capitalize on high rates, which then actually lowers those rates. That trend appears to be disrupted by the variant. Kelly?